He's trying to not let me pay. Niet, 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 niet. No, 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 no. Two fifty. To Bokumbaiwa. Okay. Hello, my friends. How are we? Just absolutely incredible. Look at all the mountains. Look at all the beautiful skies. That's so good. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I got, I got the bird room. And there's a cock made out of rocks. <laughs> that is just the funniest thing ever. The water is so unbelievably clear here. Apparently, my GoPro is no longer waterproof. So when I was doing those dives on the water, it uh, kind of messed it all up. But I'm on a swing right now. Um, got a beautiful view behind me. Good morning, everybody. I'm here in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, and we're going to Isikul. So I'm currently in a uh, Yandex. It's like basically the Uber here in uh, Kyrgyzstan. We're going to the Western bus station, and then from there, we'll be getting a Mashutka. So a Mashutka is essentially, uh, it's like the, the main transport, motor transport here. It's basically like a big, that's like one right there. <laughs> a big minivan, big shared taxi, and it's gonna be around 300, 400 soms to go about four or five hours over to the beautiful Isikul Lake. So it's only a couple of minutes away. We'll bring you on uh, all for the journey and uh, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be interesting because I've never caught a Mashutka before. I've never even like caught public transport or anything and I've never been to Isikul. So we're going to go there and we're gonna see what's happened, we'll bring you all along for the journey. At our destination, Bokon Baiwa, I believe that is how you pronounce it. Uh, we have like a $20 yurt that we're staying right on the beautiful lake. We'll go for a swim. It's gonna be an amazing time. So super excited for this journey. Let's do it. All right, they, that, is, uh, that is me. My taxi driver saw that I was blogging. So he asked, he translated, are you a blogger? So I was like, yes, I am. Here's my uh, Instagram, follow me. <laughs> so we got a new follower maybe. I'm going to uh, Bokumbaya. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah. How, uh, <laughs> I'm so confused with how this all works, but maybe uh, Bokumbaya? Yeah, yeah. Da? Uh, Skolka? Adna Mashina Nuzma. Oh, what is that? One person, he'll tell you. A Dean person, a Dean. One person. Da. But, uh, like. Share, share. It's a total show. One uh, person, pizza. Piece of 500, five? Yes. Oh, okay. And it is a uh, mashutka? Uh, minibus. Minibus. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's uh, go. Sudin. Yeah. Da. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Skolka? Niet, niet, niet. No, no, no. <laughs> How much? Uh, hey, pe people are kind out here. So. He's trying to not let me pay. 57 songs. I'm going to give him. Uh, more than that. There you go. Uh, niet change. Niet, 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 niet. Done. Niet, 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 niet. No, 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 no. How do I get out? Oh, here. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> this one. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I had expected. Alright. What seat do we want? Actually, uh, yeah, I'll have that. Let's go over here. Is it us, Peter? I'll leave that there. All right, guys, so this is the first time I'm traveling outside of Bishkek. Apparently up there is the Western bus station. That's where all the like big marshals, like honestly, I'm clueless as I am in like 99% of situations, but I just go with the flow. Uh, so apparently, here they have like minivans and then up there maybe they have like actual buses or mashutkas that's where the western bus station is so uh you sort of just like stuff just figures itself out at the end of the day it always just works out and uh, i think we're just going to wait until we have a full car there that's how it kind of works there's no like set time on when these minivans or mashutkas leave uh it's just when they get full then you go so let's uh wait for our car to get full and then we'll be on our merry way to Bokonboya. Bokonbaiwa. Hopefully that's the right word. That is where? Yeah, okay. Da, da. Where do you want to go? Translate, translate, translate. I will go to the Western bus station, okay? I will be back. Okay. Alright, quick little uh, development everybody. So. Uh, after a little bit of a translation between Google Translate, God, that app is an absolute lifesaver. Uh, apparently it wasn't going direct, it was going to like another part of Isikul, and that would cost me 600 soms, and then it would cost like another 100 soms to get to Bokumbaiwa. People at my hotel were saying that 
it should only cost like 400 soms to go like direct so we're going to go originally to where i was originally meant to go which is uh the western bus station and we'll see if there's any mashutkas there we'll see uh what there is uh to offer and see if we can get into bokumbaiwa directly let's do it how much 250 to bokumbaiwa okay okay all right as soon as we uh, went to the Western bus station, this seems like a lot more organized, but this fellow came up to me and he said 250 to get to Bokum Biowa. And uh, we'll see, see what happens. Anyways, usually when you follow a local, usually it, uh, it works out at the end of the day. Ah, this is your Bokum Biowa? Yeah. This way. Ah, this one. Hello, my friends, how are we? This is good. All right, there's number one. There is one. Welcome by, huh? Da da da. Yeah. This one, it can go inside. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. This is the ride, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the whip. Was it us, Victor? No. No. From what I've heard, everybody, is that these buses, as I said, once they get full here, um, once they get full, then you leave. But I think also you pick up people along the way. And I've read many blogs and I've heard from many people that uh, generally, it's sort of like a lot of parts like around the world is when there's like a lady or an older lady, uh, you give up her seat. So if you're first here, you've got to strategize to what seat is the least likely to get stolen by a uh, babushka <laughs> and i think probably the back one but then that potentially also increases the amount of bumpiness that you get so it's really a, a toss of the table toss of the coin which one do you choose maybe the very back is the option oh this is nice i like this one we're gonna get our stuff here i might bring my uh, charger and all that stuff let's do it oh yeah all right well, I know for a fact we're going to need some refreshments along the way. Was it awesome? Uh, Oreo, Adin? The pink ones. Lady Gaga. One fifteen. Ah, da. Alright everybody, we are having a quick little pit stop. We are probably like two hours out of Bishkek and we got around two hours to go. So I think um, people just like going to the bathroom, buying some snacks and everything. But look how beautiful the view is. This is like exactly why I came to Kyrgyzstan for, for the nature. The Bishkek in the city is absolutely amazing. It's a really good vibe, but like getting out into nature and just seeing mountains everywhere around you is just absolutely incredible. We are probably like 30 minutes away from Isikul, so hopefully we'll get some views of the lake shortly. Uh, and then probably once we're there, it will be another hour or so until we get to Bokom by. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, just look how beautiful it is. Like just blue skies. It is the most beautiful temperature you can imagine. Very bright though, that's why I got my sunnies on. Um, but just absolutely incredible. Look at all the mountains, look at all the beautiful skies. It's just absolutely incredible out here. Yeah, once we get to Bokum Bay, I'm going to try and find a little local restaurant where we'll eat some food. I really want dumplings. I have these things called Manti here, which is essentially the same. Sort of like momos, like dumplings, very similar uh, style and there's meat in there, all kinds of vegetables as well. So we're gonna eat some of them when we uh, arrive in Bokum Bay. And then we have around like a two to three kilometer ride that we need to get to to get to Tong, which is on the lake. That's where our yurt is situated for the night. So we'll have to get a taxi from uh, Bokum Bay. So we'll do all that once we arrive, but let's continue on with the journey. Oh. 
Thank you, my friend. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Bokomboya. I saw down the street just upon when we were arriving, there was a little uh, shop there that was advertising the Manti Momos dumplings, that kind of stuff. So it's like a 100 meter walk. We're going to walk down there. We're going to explore this little town a bit and then uh, it's like a five kilometer ride up to where I need to go. So with all that being said, let me show you around town. Let's go. Um, I will come back later. <laughs> we'll go get a feed. I haven't eaten today, so it's around two o'clock. So I'm pretty hungry. Um, let's go get some food. Well, this is where I thought I saw the manti. Like those are the things, right? Uh, I guess this is where they're made, but nobody's in here. Maybe we have to actually go into the restaurant to uh, to find some. Well, it's pretty busy. We'll go in and take a seat. Uh, Manti? Oh, I do. Yeah. You know, the very limited Russian that I do know actually comes in handy at times because uh, I know like one to five and just like a basic phrase. Local restaurant. How's everybody going? And then. Oh, look at this fast service. Alright, everybody. Ah, oh, Spasiba. Look at this, so you get five. They're actually significantly bigger than ones that I've ever had before. I'm not actually entirely sure what is inside of them. Probably beef, chicken, meat, uh, something along the lines, but we're gonna dig into this. There's uh, ketchup in the middle, and then of course you have like salt and pepper, chili. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. So in there, that looks like a, a bit of beef, a bit of uh, onions, vegetables, all that good stuff. Ready? Oh my god. Oh, they are delicious. Brings me back to the times that I was in Hunza eating uh, dumplings or uh, momos with uh, Ajna and all of them. But look how delicious this is. <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing with our food. We've got a crowd as well. Mmm. So delicious. Just the texture is really nice as well. And then obviously you got. I can definitely taste the onion in the middle, um, but it's just absolutely delicious here. These are like huge portions. So I remember when I was in Hunza, I only I got twelve, but they're a lot smaller. So it's probably the same like quantity in like weight, but these ones are massive. Mm. Wow. They're so delicious. I didn't see the price on the menu, but I imagine maybe like a dollar or two. I'll see when we end up paying. And of course, got some chai. Now, this isn't your normal Pakistani or Indian chai. It's just uh, kind of like more herbal. It's not milk tea, it's just the tea bag and hot boiling water. So, mm, super hot. But really refreshing. Look at the size of these. Like that is a, that is a regular sized fork, and that is like a, a comparison to how big uh, they actually are. Let's get a whole one. See how this ends up. Mm. Mm. Oh. The meat is so delicious. I think it's beef. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's so good. Alright, last little bit here. Mm. That definitely filled me up. You know, the only bad thing here in Kyrgyzstan is that there's no cheese prata, but Manti might be able to be like my cheese prata here in Kyrgyzstan. That was absolutely delicious. After we finish this, we'll uh, go for a stroll around the streets, see what happens, and then we'll get the taxi uh, up to our accommodation. Let's do it. All right, everybody. So I ended up giving her, th oh, how much was it? 240 and then I got 100 back. So it was 140 uh, some, which is around $2 
uh, for everything. So now, the next hunt that we have is uh, to get a taxi. There's a couple over there. Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs> People are kind here. Um, so, we'll visit over there and we'll see what the rate is. Is it us, Uh Tong. Zong Tong. Uh, Beltam. Yurt Camp. Uh, Skolka? 120. Okay, yes, yes. let's go. Good man. That was a lot fairer than I was expecting. So, <laughs> this can uh, go, go forward. Ah, nah. All right. <laughs> well, 120 some. So that's uh, it's about seven point six kilometers, about a 12 minute ride. Uh, 120 som is around two Australian dollars, so very fair price. And uh, we'll go and check out the yurt that we are staying at. So it's 16 USD, around 22 Australian dollars, uh, and that is, equates to around quick maths. Gee, like around 13 to 1400 soms maybe. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. We'll check it out. We'll do. We'll be able to swim for the first time here in Kyrgyzstan. Obviously, Kyrgyzstan's like a landlocked country, so there aren't any beaches. But this is essentially, Isigul Lake is essentially the beach for everybody here in Kyrgyzstan. So it's going to be awesome being here, essentially on the beach. And uh, we'll go for a swim. We'll see what's going on up in the land of Tong. I think that's where we're going. T O N G, Tong. Isigul, nice. Isigul. How to show? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Belton. Mm -hmm. We have arrived. <laughs> All right. Let's go in, check in, and uh, see what twenty dollars a night gets you here in Kyrgyzstan. Actually, first, let's pay this man. Da, da. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Let's see. This is a belt time. Yeah, checking in. Check in. For uh, belt time. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing good. I have a booking yeah. from booking.com. Okay. All right, we'll go. One moment. One moment. All right. Oh, there's a little baby. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're adorable. Hello. <laughs> All right. This place looks pretty cool. It's very big, and I'm not sure which one is mine, but it seems like there's not many people here. Luke. Uh, Luke. 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 Yeah. What is your name? My name is Uluk. Uluk. Yeah. Very similar names. Yeah. <laughs> Uluk. Luke. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Thank you. This is you. This is your your hotel. Yeah. Your, you uh, you are the owner. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Showers here. Showers and toilets. Toilets. Yeah. This big kitchen here. Oh, this is the kitchen. Yeah. Very nice. Very here. Perfect. Yeah. And where is my room? Or my uh, my yurt? Uh, All right. Perfect. All right. I will go with you. What is your name? Nice to meet you. Are there many guests here today? And the two and the... Ah, two guests and me. That's Where good. I'm from Australia. Australia. You're from Kyrgyzstan? Yes. <laughs> and that, that is your your father that I met before? No, he's my brother. Oh, he's your brother. Yes. And your family owns this yes. uh, property. Very cool. Wow, look how beautiful it is. Got the lake, the mountains. Wow, this is mine. Yeah. I got I got the bird room. Yes. Bird. 
<laughs> so it is not a room number, it is just bird? Yes, this is number. That is, the bird is the number. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Anyway. And what is this one? I wonder, maybe this is like a, a goat or a cow. Oh, there's a swallow. <laughs> well, this one doesn't have a room number. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> Perfect. Electricity. Oh, electricity. Yes. Wow. Oh, uh, on the left. It is on the left. Oh, my bags. Ah, perfect. Do you need dinner? Uh, yes, please. Dinner is just, uh, it is in the kitchen area? Yes. At, at what time? 7.30. 7.30? Yes. And, and how much extra is that? 400. 400 soms. Yes. Okay, perfect. Do you, do you not vegetarian? Well, you have vegan? <laughs> vegan? <laughs> no, I ate, I ate meat. Uh, okay, perfect. And uh, I can swim? Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Beautiful mountains, beautiful sea. Well, it's actually not the sea. It basically, it looks like the sea. Like, there's no end, <laughs> but it's just a huge lake. Saltwater lake for that matter. Anyways, I got the bird one. Let's go inside and uh, show you. So this is it. I mean, really like, it's not nothing like special, but it's just very unique and traditional. So this is like a yurt. It is essentially, like a big tent domed thing. They are all around Kyrgyzstan. It is like the nomadic, like it is a staple accommodation here in Kyrgyzstan. All the nomads used to live in like yurts like this and they used to pitch their uh, yurts all around the uh, paddocks when they were grazing with the, with the animals and all that kind of stuff. So this is sort of what it is, it's a bed and uh, a pillow. And then here's another bed with a harder pillow. Wow, that is a hard, it's not even hard. It's just very like packed in. There's just a lot of pillow there. <laughs> um, up here we got electricity, which is awesome. And then a light because obviously uh, in the nighttime, it's going to get very dark here, but it's going to, oh, it's going to be so beautiful at night. Can you imagine that? Just uh, like the stars and everything. Clear sky. There's no like city light or city pollution here. We're so remote and we'll go for a swim because yeah, I haven't swum for a, uh, a very last time I swam was when I was in Pakistan in the glacial water. <laughs> so, wow. Man, there's somebody down there. All right, let's go for a swim. Actually, I uh, always do a bed test in every room I visit or make a video at. So this looks pretty soft. This also looks pretty soft. I think that one's softer. So maybe, oh, it's just a mattress. So just a mattress on the floor. That's good because then we can actually combine the two. So that's a double bed. Um, but I'm going to move this over and then we will partake in the classic Luke bed test. This might end uh, rather bad, but oh, a lot softer than I was expecting. Wow. That is comfy. This is the view that I'm looking at, like just something so different to anywhere I've stayed. Got this really cool pattern with the wooden sticks. And then all along they have little, uh, in Australia we call these like pom-poms. Obviously they're like wool, but the big ones that are actually like circled, they're called pom-poms. I used to make them with my dad when I was a kid, but look how it's designed. So this is just all wood, right? And it's interwoven. Oh, actually no, it's not, it's nailed in. So it's nailed in to each piece there and it just creates this frame. Yeah, and then they put all like this straw stuff and then on the outside there's like a waterproof canvas um, that protects you from the, the weather and then obviously here is a little bit more insulation for the wind protection and it's kind of just like all interwoven with like ties and little bits of decoration and all that kind of stuff so that's super cool. And then uh, what's at the top? Like a little arch. Maybe it gives it extra support but what we will do is we will quickly show you on the outside. This is like the outside fabric, obviously like canvas. Uh, no water's getting through there, I hope. <laughs> and then uh, a little bit of insulation. So this should be pretty cozy in the night. Uh, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous view. Look at that. Perfect. Now we got a double bed. That's so nice. <laughs> Do 
good enough. All right, everybody, we are on the way to the lake, which I'm probably going to call the sea in a couple of minutes because literally, like, just even with my eye, it just doesn't end. It literally is so big. <laughs> this is the second biggest saline uh, lake in the whole world. And even in winter, when Kyrgyzstan gets incredibly cold, like this would all co be covered in snow in the winter times. It is freezing, but this actually never freezes because it actually is a salt, uh, salt lake. Second biggest in the world after the Caspian Sea, which is pretty much like the size of Australia <laughs> is huge, but this is the second biggest one, which is also massive. Uh, and there's even a couple waves, but just absolutely gorgeous. All right, hopefully it's not too cold. <laughs> Oh, it's actually, it's like rocks at the bottom. It's not even sand. Oh, that is actually, wow. It is very slippery, I'll tell you that much. Oh my goodness. Tip, do not walk on the rocks. Or <laughs> well, the big rocks at least. Walk on the, uh, the smaller ones. Wow. It is a beautiful temperature. So gorgeous, but it's so slippery. Oh my goodness. It's so hard to actually just walk. No, I'm probably going to end up breaking my ankle here, not going to lie. And I almost did. I don't know what to do because this is just so slippery. Look, my leg just slides like that. It's just all sort of slime. What about on this one? That's slippery as well. Ah! <laughs> this is so difficult. Maybe we need... Oh. I don't know how I didn't just fall there. That is remarkable. Oh, I'm about to fall there. Oh, that is deadly. <laughs> that is just freaking impossible. Wow. Well, it's crazy because like the sun is so bright and it's so hot down here on the beach, but literally in the distance, you can see mountains with snow on it. <laughs> over that way, as well as over on the other side of the, uh, of the lake, there's giant mountains with snow-capped mountains, but gonna go for a walk along the beach, see what is going on down this neck of the woods. Uh, and then we might, if you, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> that went into my foot. Oh my goodness, this is why you don't wear, sh this is why you wear shoes, everybody. Bloody, Australians don't wear shoes, but that still hurts. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're gonna see if there's a spot that I can swim at, otherwise. We'll go up to that little hut where those two people were swimming uh, and they were swimming over there so I'm guessing that's an alright spot to swim at. I'm walking down the beach and there's a cock made out of rocks. <laughs> that is just the funniest thing ever. Oh my goodness. Why is, why is like a penis just a universal symbol for like everything on sand or like if you're painting with chalk, everything, everybody just wants to draw a penis every single time. <laughs> Alright everybody, we changed locations. We were originally just over there a little bit, but up here is a beautiful spot. This is like a little hut that you can, there's like all these homemade sort of beach chairs and everything. There's even swings over that end and there's more showers and toilets and more uh, sort of accommodation stays there. Uh, but the water is just so blue, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And this looks like a lot more manageable to swim. So in a minute, after we chillax for a bit, we'll uh, go for a swim. But just the views are astonishing. Just <laughs> like <laughs> it's just ow, something bit me. Oh no, it didn't. It's a freaking thorn in my foot. Look at that. Oh, there's multiple. There's one. There's two. Oh, I really need to start wearing shoes out. The water is crazy clear. Like I can like I'm not even underwater right now. Like how crazy is this? The water is so unbelievably clear here. It's just, this is incredible. This is so beautiful. Wow. All right, guys, you're probably wondering why I'm filming on a different camera. Well, apparently my GoPro is no longer waterproof. So when I was doing those dives on the water, it uh, kind of messed it all up. But I'm on a swing right now. Um, got a beautiful view behind me. So I'm in the process of trying to fix this GoPro. Uh, if not, I may have to end the video here. If you see another clip, then hopefully it's with the GoPro that is actually working. <laughs> what are you doing, you goofball? What are you doing, you goofball? You're a goofball, aren't you? You're a goofball. <laughs> Look how big your feet are. Look how big your feet are. Look at your feet. They're huge. They're huge. 
Look at you, you goofball. Hey, that's my foot. That's my foot. That's my foot. That's my toe. Stop biting my toe. Guys, it's a miracle. My GoPro is actually working again. <laughs> but I just wanted to quickly showcase how beautiful the sunset is. It was so much more beautiful before. It's a little bit dark now. Uh, but yeah, finally my GoPro started working. But I have found the funnest thing when I filmed that other video on my phone. I've been swinging around on this incredible swing here. It is honestly like so much fun. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys what life is like here. Look at this. Cool. All right. Let me get going and then I'll cut back to uh, that in a minute. All right, we got some momentum going. This is so much fun. It was so much more beautiful during the day. Now it's starting to get uh, into the night, but like, can you imagine how beautiful this would be? You know, sunrise, the sun's gonna, uh, the sun's gonna rise in the morning over that way, but just so beautiful out here. We had a beautiful dinner um, that obviously I didn't film because my GoPro was broken. <laughs> uh, I was originally gonna go back to Bishkek to buy a new GoPro, but because this is somewhat working, I can't really see what I'm filming because the display is broken, but the video is still going, <laughs> the video is still working. Uh, so I might stay here for a couple of nights, see what this part of the country uh, has to offer. Uh, but yeah, probably uh, gonna head off to bed now after I have a little bit more of a swing and then uh, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Morning everybody, it is absolutely so bright. Uh, it's about 8 a.m. So really good sleep. Like it was actually, the, ma the mattress was so comfortable uh, and it wasn't too cold. It got down to maybe like 13 degrees, but we had two dunas. Um, which was awesome, but this is just absolutely gorgeous in the mornings. Just like, it's just like the sea, I swear, but it's not actually the sea. You got the beautiful sun. Uh, I'm filming on my phone because again, my GoPro's gone out the door. I don't know what to do with it. I think today I'm going to head to Caracol. Uh, but yeah, I really need to fix this GoPro issue. <laughs> I think I'm going to head to Caracol, take my chances with um, buying a GoPro there or getting this one fixed. Uh, or if not, then I'll freaking head back to Bishkek and then back to Par Caracol. All right, everybody, I'm getting my last swing in before I check out. It's been a wonderful stay. Slept so good last night. Uh, but again, the GoPro issue, I'm gonna go and fix that. I'm gonna head to Caracol uh, today. It's about a two hour drive. Gonna get a Mashutka and then hopefully we can buy a new GoPro, get this one fixed. Probably buy a new one. This one has treated me well. This is the, the GoPro that I've been filming all my videos on ever since I started traveling uh, and it's treated me well. But just look at the view. I mean, the mountains are just, oh, almost fell off. <laughs> the mountains are absolutely gorgeous um, in front of me. And I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm like swinging. So this is the front view, just swinging into the mountains. Got Isigal Lake over there. It's just unbelievably gorgeous, this place. The water, like I can't get over how blue and like turquoise the water is. Just absolutely incredible. Gonna finish up the video here, everybody. Uh, this is what $20 uh, a night in a yurt here gets you here in Kyrgyzstan. As always, chase your dreams. Oh, I'm about to fall off, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next video.